But what really bothered me the most when I was diagnosed was when the doctors in Stanford told me I would never have children. That's when my world started to collapse. It's like, parang ang dami na bumunti sa, you know, sa Manila. Bakit ako? Parang it's so hard pala. Um, and so that that was the hardest for me to accept. And I was single at the time. I was just engaged. And, um, you know, an aunt visited me in 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 California and I told her, you know, because everybody was so somber and so sad about it. And I I told her in private, you know, the doctor said I'd never have children. And I thought she would be in a drama mode. She just said, oh, what do they know? They're only doctors. Just pray. Just pray. And that snapped me out of it. And that's the only option I had left to pray. But, you know, looking back now, prayer is not a last resort. It should be the first option. And so I just kept praying and praying. And I, I, I'm blessed with a a daughter who just graduated from college a few weeks ago. 